In a previous video, I demonstrated how to eliminate 100 thread trims from the pineapple by using the branching tool. Then someone pointed out to me that there are still over 100 more trims. Now there are a lot of separate objects in the design, but let's see how many more we can eliminate. Before we do, why eliminate an unnecessary trims? Each trim will take anywhere up to 8 seconds for your embroidery machine to slow down, trim and reach full speed again. So you could be looking at almost a quarter of an hour of wasted time. So how are these trims identified and what causes a thread trim and what controls them? There are two ways to identify the trims. In the view toolbar, turn off true view and turn on display connectors and functions. The connector lines are represented by dotted lines and the functions, that is the tie off slash trims, are indicated with a small triangle. They are normally black and in this case we cannot see them with the black background. From the background and display settings, change the background to a lighter, co to a lighter contrasting color. While there, make sure to select a color that will identify any objects that are unsewn. You'll see why shortly. There, the triangles are clearly visible now. So I can see where they are, but I have no idea of the sequence. Using the travel tools will help me there. The first icon I call the three tulips. This acts as a home and end button. Left clicking takes me to the home or beginning of the design and right clicking takes me to the end of the design. So back to the beginning and you can see all stitches are colored green, giving me a clear picture of what is not stitched. Move down, to the, move down the travel toolbar to the scissors icon and right clicking will advance me to the first trim. The first few clicks take me to color changes where obviously there needs to be a thread trim, so no problem so far. The first issue seems to be in the scroll. I've copied the scroll to another work area to take a closer unhindered look. As I tab through the objects, you can see that many of them do not touch each other and because of the distance between each object, a thread trim is created. I'll speak more about the distance in a moment. To solve the problem, I'd use the branching tool. Select the objects you wish to branch. The keyboard shortcut for branching is the letter I, or the icon in the Arrange toolbar is the first icon to the right of the locks. Once engaged, you need to make two clicks. One, where you want the branching to begin, and the other where you want it to finish. The start and finish points can be in different locations or at the same point. It is worth noting there can be a substantial difference in the stitch count depending on your choice. In this case, if I start and finish at this point, the end stitch count is just over 2600 stitches. Alternatively, starting here and finishing here lifts the stitch count to over 3,000 stitches. It all depends on the path that, of the travel runs that are created with the software. So we've now lost another 10 trims by branching. Moving on by right clicking the scissors again, the next trim is between objects of the same color. The question to be asked is what determines that a trim is here? The answer is the distance between the objects. The joining points between these objects will be covered later by other objects in the design. Therefore, it is acceptable not to trim here and simply jump the gap. The setting that controls this is found in the object properties under the, con under the connector tab. The logic is, after the object is completed, use a jump stitch to move to the next object and trim if the gap is more than 2 millimeters. Let's change the distance to say 4 millimeters. I can see more trims in this color group, so select all the objects and change the setting. More trims eliminated. Follow the same procedure for other similar objects. The next trims are unavoidable and created by small objects that are too far apart not to trim. Okay, the next trims are in the words juice bar. 
the same issue as in the orange segments, but this time, when we look at the objects in the list, the words are a single object. And we've been dealing with after the object. Go to the drop down, and instead of after the object, select inside the object and make the changes. Because the distance between the E and the B is greater than 4 millimeters, then the trim remains as you would want. The next detail has plenty of trims and I think with better sequencing and branching we may be able to improve here as well. Using the sequence toolbar, holding the control key while selecting objects in the order I want them to stitch will reorder them and applying the branching tool will eliminate more trims. Using the sequence toolbar, hold the control key while selecting objects in the order you want them to stitch. This will reorder them and applying the branching tool will eliminate more trims. I have to say that this will change the look of the design slightly by joining all the objects, but the detail is so small and the advantage gained by eliminating the trims is worth the compromise. Following the same procedure for the rest of the design, approximately 190 trims have been eliminated, so an estimated 25 to 30 minutes. At first this can be a little confusing, but follow the procedure of travelling, identifying the problem and adjusting the connector value and the sequence when necessary, then applying closest join or branching and you will better understand the digitising process and deal with these issues easily. I think this is worth the effort, and once you know what you're looking for, this does not take a lot of time. I hope you've enjoyed this video.